Hi, my name's Eddie and I'm the Head of Health and Wellbeing here at Blackburn Rovers Community Trust. Today we have George from Royal Blackburn Hospital with us to help support health messaging uh, as part of the hub. So firstly, George, thank you for coming to the Community Wellbeing Hub today. Uh, tell us a bit more about your role and what you do uh, with the service. Um, so I'm an emergency medicine consultant, so I work in the emergency department at Royal Blackburn Hospital. I'm also the clinical lead for that service, so I help to run the service and take things forward. Fantastic. Um, we're just going to go through a few questions of why this messaging is so important as part of our community wellbeing hub. Uh, so firstly, um, what would you say is the most important thing or things uh, people can do to keep themselves fit and well? Um, so it's really important um, things such as um, vaccinations and um, people are often, uh, often, often offered vaccinations and they don't attend to have those done. Um, it's important that you take up the opportunity to have your vaccinations done, so Covid vaccines, um, flu vaccines. Important as well, children get vaccinated. Um, often some of them are not done with needles, people are worried about it being done with a needle. Um, the flu vaccine for children is actually a spray that goes up the nose really important for children because they often um, spend lots of time with vulnerable adults such as their grandparents and although children don't get unwell from things such as flu, grandparents do get really unwell um, and the take up of vaccinations has dropped off since Covid for children and um, so things such as new, um, rubella, measles, mumps, um, that's dropped off, we need to get those numbers back up to where they were before. Um, lots of our patients live with chronic health problems um, and you need to be in control of your health really important as the patient you know what to do if you become unwell and um, so if you're in control then you're more likely to do something when you get poorly lots of advice is available from that from your gp they often run nurse-led clinics for asthma diabetes and you can go along and get advice about what to do and that means you don't get into extremists and you don't end up using one of our services such as the accident and emergency department Pharmacies are really helpful, they can help you with things such as what to have at home. Lots of us get common colds, sore throats, um, temperatures, and you can just have some simple painkillers, um, paracetamol to control the temperature in at home, and that means you then don't have to contact one of the health services. Also, the NHS runs amazing screening services, really important to pick up um, serious illnesses such as cancer as early as possible. So if you're called for screening, you must go. So the bowel screening programme, for ladies, the cervical screening, breast cancer screening, it picks these um, problems up early when they're treatable. Oh, fantastic. And I suppose that leads on really nicely to the next question. It's not always easy to know where the best or most appropriate place to get treatment is. Um, what would you advise? So there's lots of help out there. You don't even have to leave your own home to get that help. So as an example, 111 is readily available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's available by phone, it's available online. They can give you, often they can give you advice and you don't even need to then go and speak to anybody else. Um, but they can also give you advice about who you need to be seen by if that's what's required. So they can give appointments now in some GP practices. They can um, advise people when to attend the emergency department or when to attend one of our urgent treatment centres. And they can tell you attend, a time to attend even so that we know you're coming and then you're less likely to have to wait a long time. Also, the NHS runs a, its own website and there's lots of helpful information on there, lots of guides to common conditions, um, there's lots of symptom um, finders, um, lots of help about who you should speak to. Um, pharmacies are amazing, lots of them now run consultation services. The advantage of those is you don't need an appointment, you can just walk in for that service and they can help with minor illnesses um, and minor injuries. The, um, there is two local run minor injury services, um, one at Rosendale, one at Accrington. Both of those mean you don't need to attend the emergency department or urgent treatment centre. It's also important, I think, people have the impression that when you're unwell, you need to be seen by a doctor. That's not true anymore. I work alongside many practitioners who are not doctors who are fully able to see, assess and treat patients. So you might um, find that you go to your local GP practice or you attend one of our urgent treatment centres and you're given an appointment to be seen by a nurse specialist, for example, and that's a, a really good service. You don't always need to see a doctor. Fantastic. And have you got a final message for people? So what would be the headline message to take away? So I think it's really important that if you feel unwell, you get help early and you use the resources that we've mentioned, such as the NHS website, 111 online or by the telephone and um, so that you can get early treatment but the other thing that i'd like to stress is for people to not miss appointments 
if you've been given an appointment please do attend or let us know if you no longer need the appointment because it does cost the NHS a lot of money missed appointments but more importantly there might be somebody out there who really needs that appointment and you're stopping them from having it.